Hey y'all, it's your girl Lika. Welcome to my channel, Cards Fly Lika. And to those who don't know, I do freestyle readings, and that's basically where I let my spirit guides and my intuition guide me to which deck of cards is appropriate for each person that I do a reading for. If you could, I'm just going to ask everybody to please now like, comment, subscribe. I would highly, highly appreciate it. It helps me out, and then it helps my videos get seen by other people and other viewers, right? But today, I have my drum roll. <laughs> we're doing a pick a card, right? And the pick a card, the the topic of the pick a card that we're gonna do is what is it that our spirit guides, our angel angels, and our ancestors want us to do, or what is it that we can do to level up for this 2023? Okay. And then we'll also maybe pull a few love cards or something just to see what we got brewing for the new year, right? All right. So let's get into it. We have three selections of crystals today. All right, so crystal number one is going to be the opal. It's pretty opal. So you can just make your selections based off of whatever crystal you're drawn to or number you're drawn to. So for number one is opal. Number two is red jasper. And number three is green aventurine. Okay, make your selections, meditate over them, and we're going to hop right into it, okay? All right, so we get right into it. For group number one, those who chose the opal card, I mean the opal crystal, this beautiful opal crystal, I'm going to start with you. All right, spirit gods, angels, ancestors, universe, clear and accurate messages for group number one. Clear and accurate messages for group number one. What is it that their spirit gods, angels, ancestors, what advice do they have for them to level up for the new year of 2023? What lessons do they need to take out of 2022 to apply for their 2003 and level up? That's because that's all we want to do. We want to make progress. We want to be progressing to the next level of our lives. Tapping into the highest version of ourselves. All of that good stuff. Um, yeah. Group number one, please like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it. Greatly. <laughs> All right, so spirit guides, angels, ancestors, clear and accurate messages for group number one. Please just block out any interferences as I get these messages across. Just protect my space as I get these messages across. Open up my third eye so I can dive deeper into my intuition to give further clarification of the cards that come out today. Ashe. Oh, wait, wrong order, y'all. I didn't even cut them. I didn't even cut them. Anxious. Group number one, group number one. Oh, um, just to show y'all, because I like to always show y'all the deck I'm pulling from. So we're working with today our Angels and Ancestor Oracle card, okay? I get, like, some of the best advice and tea from this deck. I do. Y'all, I'm super animated. I'm just going to be honest. It'd be a, it's, sometimes it's, are, like, unnecessary, but I'm an animated-ass person, okay? But anyway... Angels and Ancestor Oracle cards for group number one. What is it that their spirit guides, angels, and ancestors want them to know to level up their to level up for this new year, 2023? I feel I feel really confident about this year, y'all. Because seven's my lucky number. I just feel real confident about shit. Far too many cards. Far too many cards. One side like just threw the whole book at me, damn near. Clear and accurate messages for group number one. There are some, these like same cards want to keep coming out. All right. So the two cards that I have here is Seer, See Beyond, See Beyond the Current Situation. I don't know if y'all can see that. That glare might be fucking it up. See Beyond the Current Situation, Seer. And then I also have Summer, Bask in Joy and Light. All right, one more card spirit for group number one. I want to do a three card pool. All okay, and then we have High Priestess, Harness, Mystic Power. This is a beautiful card to get.
ओके All right, so for the first one, we have Seer. First one we have for group number one is Seer. And that is number 60. Let's get into it. Let's see what Spirit got to say. All right, so Seer, see beyond the current situation. Look beyond your current situation. Raise your hand. Raise, excuse me, raise your vibration and focus on love. Most indigenous peoples have a Seer in the family or tribe. Seers are intelligent and intuitive beings who serve as direct channels for information on what's occurring now and what's about to unfold. Their energy isn't about predicting your future for you, but about showing you how your intentions are creating it. And our intentions all start from our ways of thinking, which is why it's so important to try to keep your thoughts positive. I'm like, actively practicing that so hard right now because I kind of just got out of a breakup um so yeah you really want to practice just putting as much of your energy into positive thoughts or to the outcome that you actually want in a situation because we do set intentions with our thoughts so if you're sitting there and you're fixating okay here's the thing like if your whole thing is like okay I want to make more money like and my goal is to make more money but then you just focus on how little of money that you have you are literally setting an intent you're literally creating a energy field of lack you're in ener- you're creating an energy field of little to no money you have to think abundance even when you don't have it so it's like you have to think positivity even if nothing around you looks like it could bring a positive outcome you have to just think positivity so you can attract it to yourself but if you're focusing on all on all negativity you're literally feeding that energy and then you're kind of feeding that into the to the to the universe and the universe is just going to send some more of it back so it's very important to understand how your intention how you're creating your situation how how we are actually creating some of our situations Um, so, um, their energy, Sears, their energy isn't about predicting your future for you, but about showing you how your intentions are creating it. A true Seer will help you see that your intentions can change. Therefore, so can your future. The message of this card is to let the clairvoyant within you rise up so that you can see the way forward yourself with your spiritual eyes. Now, clairvoyance isn't just about predicting the future. It's about being able to see clearly enough to create your best future. You are being encouraged by your ancestral gods and angels to see beyond what you think is happening now. Don't allow your ego or doubts to play games with you. Instead of seeing yourself as stuck or lost, know you're in an energetic holding space while the universe recalibrates a path that is more favorable for you. Angels of light are upgrading your energy so your experiences can be more enjoyable. You're moving towards something extremely uplifting and enlightening, so stay calm and keep your eyes on the Pads, group number one. Ibra, Ibra. Okay, now we're going to move on to the next card, which is the summer card, and that is Bask in Joy and Light. And I think that this card is going to come with you understanding, harnessing that power, and understanding how you can create your fu- create a better future or create a better reality for yourself based off of your intentions and your way of thinking. Law of attraction. Law of attraction. I have to. Oh, I don't know if I need necessarily need to pause, but y'all, I'm a little thirsty. Deer Park's my favorite. I ain't got that many views yet, so I can I can pull out whatever brand of water I want right now. But at some point, I want to end up having so many views and stuff to where they I gotta have stuff like this blurted out because it don't look like I'm promoting for nobody. That's my goal for 2023. Dreaming big. So, okay. okay, for real there. So, summer, bask in joy and light. Let's get serious again. Let's really get serious here. Summer 142. Okay. 
summer 142 it says bask in joy and light rise up open your wings and shine bring your projects and plans out into light into manifestation Summer has always been recognized as a time for joy, for going on adventures and making memories. Flowers in, are in full bloom. Animals are enjoying the freedom of the wild summer days and nights. And people are taking holidays, basking in the sunshine and being lifted energetically by the light and warmth. The extended message. This is the perfect opportunity for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Light has come to banish the darkness. Clarity is arriving too allowing you to know exactly where you are and how you can move forward. Angels and ancestors and ancestor guides are encouraging you to enjoy this moment and not to rush for it because this is a time for pleasure, enjoyment, and expansion. There's a great chance that you have extra energy, creativ creativity, and inspiration at this time. Notice what is coming to you as it is, in, as it is inspiration directly from the divine. When the summer card arrives in the future position of a spread or the last card in a reading, it can also indicate that the coming summer will usher in important energies with regards to your question or your intention. Okay, the last card we have, which I really want to get into, is the High Priestess card. Harness mystic power. Harness your mystic power. Let's get into it. I really feel like the order should have been this should have came first. And then it should have been the summer card, but I ain't going to question spirit. I don't do that. I don't do that. But I would have liked that spread a little bit better, I think. <laughs> like you harness your mystic, mystic powers, and once you harness them, then you bask in all this joy and light that ends up coming. You know, but whatever. <laughs> um, high Priestess. Forty-two high priestess. It says, "Harness mystic power, align with the light, and focus on all things positive." I said that right. The high priestess is the physical embodiment of the divine feminine, the goddess in human form. She has had many names through time and space, but her in, her essence has remained similar, fierce, powerful, and disciplined. In many traditions, particularly pre-Christian, the high priestess was in charge of spiritual and religious orders and was the voice of authority and guidance from the gods. The high priestess in this deck is the consort and partner of the high priest. If you look at, the, at them together, you will see they mirror each other's energy. She is joined by a black... I kind of want to show it if I read it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, it says, this is an opportunity for you to rise up at this time, but in, excuse me, wait. She is joined by a black cat representing the Egyptian goddess Bast, who protects her from lower energies and she stands strong in her glory and power. I thought I was going to describe it deeper. That's the reason I put it up. But anyway, it says you are a mystic with the capacity to connect with energies that go beyond the human senses. Within you is a force of magic that is directed by your will. There is an opportunity for you to rise up at this time, but it requires dedication and discipline. You're being guided to look at what you are working on or at this, or are being guided to look at, excuse me, you are being guided to look at what you are working on or at the situation before you determine where your priorities lie. If you're an, if you are unable to figure out, figure it out, you must use your intuition and discernment to focus on what will bring you closer to your goal and the happiness, the happiness of everyone involved. When this card arrives, it's also important for you to check in with your intuition as it will give you guidance that will be important for your growth. Okay. So I think, you know, I do freestyle readings, y'all. So I just jump around. I'll close it out with tarot. All right. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, universe, thank you so much for the beautiful messages that we've given a great one so far. Please just allow me to use my tarot deck to close out the reading as the wit. What 2023 is going to bring for group number one? 
what can they expect for 2023? Let's see what comes out, y'all. Group number one, 2023. What is 2023 going to look like for my group number one? Ooh, beautiful. So we have the Ace of Cups, new beginnings, new relationships, new romance, love, happiness, joy, fertility, pregnancy, celebration, socializing. Ace of Cups is just going to be bringing in a really good, fresh energy. I feel abundance. I feel really good energy coming for in 2023 for group number one. One more set. I kind of want to just close it with one, I think. Spirit, don't give me another one. I'm going to stop here. Second. Okay. Okay, so um, we also got the devil card. But it's the devil in reverse, so that's good. Um, is we're being released from addictions. If there, if you found yourself being like caught to, it's like stuck in any type of addictions, any um, bad habits, or and, and it doesn't necessarily have to be like an addiction to a drug. It can be like food. It can be like um, addiction to just like. Um, a way of thinking that doesn't really serve you. So it doesn't have to be so much of a crazy, like really bad, scary card to get, especially because it's in the reverse. So this is you being break, breaking out, breaking out of shackles and freeing yourself from things that didn't serve you anymore. So it says for le release from bondage, removing the change, excessive ambition. Um, you're releasing yourself from instability, dependency, filling at the filling at the end of your rope. So this year is going to bring you a lot of freedom. And this this is the energy that you were in the year prior. You are coming out of that for this year, for this new year. You've learned your lessons and you're going to apply it into your new year. And I love that for you. So that is everything for group number one. Punch it in at 18 minutes. All right. So for group number two, starting with group number two. Did y'all ready? We're going to get right into it. Group number two. What is it that, what is it that they're angels and, excuse me, group number two, those who chose the red jester. What is it that their angels, their ancestors, and their spirit guides want them to know in order for them to level up in that their angels their ancestors want them to know to level up in 2023 spirit guides angels ancestors universe send in masters please just protect my space as i get these messages across block out any interferences and just um open up my third eye to allow me to dive deeper into my intuition to give further clarification of the cards that come out today i say i say and i say um to those who don't know this is what we're using to get these answers today is the angel and ancestor oracle card one of my favorite days can't really get tea from there and then we'll um close out just to just to do a prediction for 2023 we'll close it out with a uh with some with pulling some tarot okay so what else y'all get all right group number two group number two i'll shuffle to my heart say it's ready it's ready Clear not care messages for group number two. Clear not care messages for group number two. What is it that their angels, their ancestors want them to know? Apply to level up in 2023. To level up their 2023. So we got two cards that came out at once. And we have the high priestess intend and create. 
intend and create when I see this card, something is telling me to start jotting out your ideas now. Do not wait till the new year to do it. Do it now. Um, then we have Eagle. See from a higher perspective. I don't know if it's getting closer. How do you want to focus it so that it's see from a higher perspective? That's so crazy. I can't get that. See from a higher perspective. <laughs> and then we're going to pull one more. One more spirit. All right. Then we have Sholin Master. Be, be graceful in movement and action. Okay. Okay. If I can find my book. Right. I'll just go, right? All right, so the first one we have is the high priest, intend and create. So we'll get into that. Now it says, recognize that you have the power to change your life. Face your fear and align with the light. In many traditions, the high priest is the physical embodiment of the divine masculine. He acts as a bridge between worlds and is able to not only divine the future, but to help create it too. He may be a leader in his spiritual tradition or in pagan traditions, be second to the high priestess, but he is always spiritually connected and disciplined with great respect for his creator and his particular practice. Now, in a reading, this card can represent a spiritual figure, leader, or teacher in your life, or an aspect of your path that has led you to where you are today. You are a bridge between heaven and earth, and it's important for you to know that you are more powerful and connected than you may think. Everything you are giving attention and energy to at this time is creating your way forward. So this is very similar to the reading that I just did. Honestly, it's extremely uh, similar to the reading that I did for group one, but it kind of brings me back to where I'm standing before. So it says you're a bridge between heaven and earth, and it's important for you to know that you are more powerful and connected than you may think. Everything you are giving attention and energy to at this time is creating your way forward. So it is very imperative that what you are giving your energy and your attention to is positive and something that is productive to what it is that you're trying to accomplish in this lifetime. All right. Um, there have been some setbacks, but accept these as experiences that have led you to a deeper understanding of yourself and your spirit. Know that you're being guided by the ancestors to direct your thoughts and energy towards what you want to grow. Thank you, spirit, because I just said that. Um, <laughs> to direct your thoughts and energies towards what you want to grow, heal, and expand, and then watch it happen before, right before your eyes. Group number one, spirit, spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors, the universe really want you to know the, the hidden potential that you really have. You are a manifester. You are an alchemist. You are a person that can bring things into your reality, whether they be negative or positive. So it is very imperative, but try to keep your energy and your thoughts towards what you want to grow and manifest. Understand we are all human beings, so we naturally are going to have negative thoughts. It's just a part of life. However, your job is to then replace them with positive. When you have those negatives come in your mind, you literally what like literally uh, acknowledge the thought as a thought and then just like look at it as, you know what I did the other day when I meditated and I kept finding, I kept seeing like, because your whole thing with meditating is you don't want to think. You want to just focus on your breath. So anytime a negative thought would creep in, um, I kind of picture, you ever pic picture yourself like swiping, like swipe, like, you know, we're all, well, so whether it's this way or that way, I, I kind of looked at it this way, like right to left or left to right, um, like swiping it out of your mind. So, so see the negative thought, like, yeah, but I ain't got no money. Swipe it out. But I'm abundant and I'm prosperous and I attract things effortlessly and immediately swipe it out. Like swipe, swipe right. <laughs> swipe the thought right out of your mind. Like and envision it leaving your mind and replacing it with a positive one. Like, like the same thing you would do on a date in that. When you swipe, he's ugly. I don't, nobody's ugly. He's not my cup of tea. It's not my taste. Swipe right. And then some, something more favorable replaces that. Look at that as your thought, the thought that you want to replace it with, or the man that you want a man or woman you would want to replace, replace it with, if that helps. Anyway, so the next one we have is the eagle. 
Okay, the ego card, and I want to get into the message behind that, so let me find it. All right, so for the ego, it says, see from a higher perspective. Bro, I promise it says that, y'all. <laughs> see from a higher perspective. Okay, it says, look, look at things from a different angle. Fly higher and see new possibilities. I'm getting this real feeling that I'm speaking to a group of people who are hard on themselves. When things go wrong in life, you really let it beat you up. I'm one of those people, so I'm not knocking you for it. I I persevere just because I'm kind of, I'm like a life path one. So I'm kind of used to, or for some reason or another, my life has been set up for me to have a lot more hard times than maybe the average person but it doesn't really make me doesn't make me love any less I still keep like this optimistic and bright type of personality so that I can use my experiences to teach other people but um I do feel like I'm speaking to a group of people that let their hard times really affect their day-to-day their day their days their week um yeah, I'm just getting that feeling. And I really think spirit wants you to, when you do that, you kind of make yourself a slave to your own problems. And it doesn't have to be that. Because a lot of things, a lot of things in our life, it's really not that it's bad. It's just how we perceive it. Or pers- your perspective can change so many different experiences in your life. I realized a lot of my relationships were not enjoyable to me because my perspective on relationships are they take they are something that take away from myself. Like I can't see, I can't see, I look at it as a job. I look at a relationship as a job and that it's a job that I'm not getting paid for. <laughs> it's a job I'm not getting paid for and it's taken away from myself. From myself. Well, with that perspective, my relationships are never really enjoyable. But if I look at the perspective of I, I this, I'm ha- I have another partner to go through this life with me to make things easier that I have things that I can do 27, 27 on a timer, that I have things that I can tackle with another person. When I change my perspective to that, then I had a more lighthearted way of thinking about relationships and overall ended up having a better experience in my relationship. So perspective really can, perspective has a lot to do with how you experience the things that you experience. But let's get into the the textbook definition of it. And it says, look at things from a different angle, fly higher and see new possibilities. In animal medicine, both Native American and Celtic, the eagle draws his power and strength from the sun. He is a powerful, strong and courageous guide who is able to see for miles. Who is able to see for miles. He approaches all things with intelligence, grace and poise. And has the capacity to make a plan from a higher space before putting it into action. When the eagle card appears in a reading, it shows you, it shows that you have a real ability to take things higher and to move beyond the limitations of your ego and your selfish desires. Eagle medicine swirls around you, encouraging you to recognize that your views or vision may be limited at this time. Is there a chance that your own desperation, needs, or ego could be blocking you from seeing the potential in your current situation? If there are other people involved, you're being guided to see things from everyone's perspective. If you're feeling the need for something to change, how can you take the higher road? That's the question. Know that if you have intentions that aren't for the highest good, it will only hold you back. Ego medicine can help you change this. The eagle brings the energy of healing and love directly from the heart of Father Sky and invites you to do all things from a place of love. So, it says that know that if you don't have intentions that are for the highest good. So, if you're if you have like a plan on trying to move yourself forward by doing something that is not that could potentially bring you some bad karma in the future spirit is telling you to take a different route for example this is just my example right i don't think i want to get into that (laughs) i don't want to get into that um 
Yeah, I don't want to get that. <laughs> I was going to use like a life, a real life situation as the like, obviously we all know different ways that we can get to some money or things like that. But, um, you know, we have to trust in the universe and understand that things are going to align the way that they need to align for us. And we have to have faith that we can attract and manifest those things into our life without having to take the easier route or the not so great route to get there. All right, then the last card we have is the Sholin Master, and it says to be graceful in movement and action. I'm trying so hard. To block the word. I can't block the glare. Okay, so we have Sholin Master. Be graceful in movement and action. All right. So be graceful in movement and action. Slow and steady, breathe and breathe and flow. Take a gentler approach. The Sholin Master calls for calls forth the ninja within. Sholin medicine is about learning to adapt to a situation and tap into the energy running around, excuse me, running through your body and preserve it in order to release it at the right moment. It also teaches subtly because when you are too forceful, you use too much energy, and, they, and that may not be supportive of what you are working on. The Sholin Master, like a monk, has a respect for all things. He is disciplined and guided by his art and will never use it to impress the foolish or to appear stronger than someone who is threatening him. You too are being invited to remain graceful in your movement, choices, and actions. Okay. Yep. Take a gentler approach. Do not let your ego get the best of you. Like if you're one of like if you're somebody that's doing well, you don't have to you can be grateful for it. Like you can uh, express gratitude to the universe, but don't ever try to use it to try to like showboat or anything of that or or, or something like that. That's just what I that's the thought that came across my mind when I read that. Um but anyway, it says you're being guided to flow like water blow like air, and connect with your purest intentions. Don't feel you need to rush ahead. A gentler approach will be more fruitful and rewarding. Move with subtly and grace. Reach high, but also ask yourself how you can move with the flow of life rather than pushing against it. Do you have the capacity to refocus your gaze at this time? Can you slow down or take more time to soften and breathe as you move forward? All of this will will be incredibly beneficial for what happens next. There was something yet. Yeah, I don't know why I heard the words like this is, it's not a race. It's not a race. I know a lot of us, we feel like, you know, we are. <laughs> Let me get right, y'all. A lot of us, we feel like we're on borrowed time or you hit a specific age and it's like, this shit gotta get done now. I need to get this done like this, like this, like this. And spirit is just telling you to slow down. Trust in the universe, trust in divine timing, because honestly, all of us are really working with divine time. Time and nothing is happen happening any later than it should or before it needs to. It's happening as it should. So just trust the process. Allow things to unfold naturally. Move with the flow of life. Don't try to push against it. Okay? Because that's when you get a disaster. When like, okay, all right, all right, I, I understand, I, I understand I got abundance coming, but when? I need it to happen now, now, now. And then you're doing this and you're doing that and you're doing that. And then later down the line, something backfires because you just didn't let things flow. Okay, so that is that for the angel and ancestor cards. Now let's just get, um, hop into the tarot to see um, what 2023 is going to bring for my group number two. Okay. Spirit God's angels, ancestors, universe, thank you so much for the beautiful messages that we've been able to give to group number two. Um, please just allow me to use this tarot deck to see what it is that 2023 is going to be bringing for group number two and what is it, it what is it that, or what it is that they need to be focusing on for 2023. 2023 for group number two. 
those who chose the beautiful red jasper please just protect my space as i get these messages across and just allow me to dive open up my third eye to allow me to dive deeper into my intuition to get further clarification of the cards that come out today spirit Ashe. Ice mine. Earring. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry. So so sorry. Okay. All right. So we have the King of Swords. Structure, routine, intelligent, rational, logic, powerful. This is bringing in energy of someone who's sure of what it is that they want. really head over heart type of person strength authority power what else for group number two someone in a position to call the damn shots but very little emotion like you're like very very serious <laughs> Very, very serious. Group number two. So it looks like you're going to be um, faced with a decision. Oh, God. Every time I look at myself, I look a little bit more crazy than I did for the last time I looked at the, the, the uh, camera. But, uh, yeah, it looks we have the, uh, the two of wands. Um, so we get the King of Swords and the Two of Wands, and it just looks like you're going to be faced with a decision. You're going to be very sure about the decision that you want to make, but um, this may this can be a decision on a partner, um, a new place of travel, uh, maybe a new business venture. It looks like that you're looking on making a choice that is just just very that, that's more suitable for you and what it is that you want to manifest into your life. So that's what I'm seeing here. Pull another card in the back of the deck. Damn. So, so, I actually got the devil card in reverse for the group number one as well. It looks like whatever that, that had you bonded in 2022, whether that had been an addiction, a bad relationship, um, or just a pattern that a, a pattern that you have, a pattern or a habit that you've developed over time. That is not serving your highest good. I do see you moving away from that and breaking out of that for 2023. Whatever, I don't know if you were, if there was some type of dependency on a person, a situation, uh, or a substance, whatever it may be. I see you moving out of that. And now when it's, when we say addictions, I don't know why when I see the devil card, I always think, I always think of addictions, um, like some type of addictions or something that just doesn't really serve it. but it doesn't have to be like an addiction to a drug it can literally be like addicted to ne a negative way of thinking or addicted to material wealth or just something like you know just something that's not beneficial to your the highest version of yourself i see you moving out of that because this did come in the reverse it did not come in the upright and that's that's what we want to see definitely want to see that so that's good that's what i have for group number two Thank you, thank you much. All right, moving on to group number three. If you could like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, I really appreciate it. It helps me and it helps other people come across this free and that actually right really need this information. So if you could like, comment, and subscribe, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Especially subscribe, because y'all, I need my I need, I need to get the subscribers that you feel me. <laughs> I need a sign up. <laughs> I know I play, but no. If y'all could, I'd appreciate it. All right, so group number three. What is that? Or their spirit guides, angels. Group number three. Those who chose the green aventure. Let me just show that again. Green aventure. What is that? Their angels, their ancestors, their spirit guides want them to know to be able to level up in their 2023. What lessons do they need to take from 2022 to level up their 2023? That was actually a much better question. What is it that there's, 
What is it that group number three, spirit gods, angels, and ancestors want them to know from 2022 to apply to their two, to level up their 2023? That's the question. 909 on the clock. Add a screenshot because spirit talks to me all day. Just going to be honest. Spirit be talking to us, y'all. If y'all, you ever noticed that this is completely the size of reading, but if you ever notice that you are catching a, a, number or a time on a consistent basis i absolutely promise you that somebody is trying to communicate with you your ascendant masters your guardian angels your ancestors someone is trying to communicate with you so please do don't look at numbers as just coincidences because honestly that is the main way the 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 main way of communication from your from from the spirit realm to to this 3d is through numbers so you never want to take lightly to them. I really, really, really live by synchronicities. Like, honestly. And when I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do, they are, or if I just need, or maybe I'm just in a place of not feeling the greatest. I get a lot of comfort and, and stuff from the, the numbers that my spirit guides and my angels and my ancestors send me. As you know, if you're a person that doesn't necessarily want to take the time to read the definition of a synchronicity, plug it into YouTube. I do it all the time. Angel number 909. When I, when I get off and I close out doing this reading for the day, I'm going to get on YouTube and I'm going to look up angel number 909. And I'm going to figure out what it is that my spirit guides were trying to tell me. So, yeah. Take heed to that. But all right, so Spirit God's Angels, Ancestors, Universe, please just block out any interferences as I get these messages across for group number three. And just open up my third eye to allow me to dive deeper into my intuition and give further clarification of the cards that come out today. Ashe and Ashe and Ashe. Hey, I'm just happy I'm showing up, y'all. I've been going through some things. I've been going through some things. So that's how that's how why, why I haven't really been on here. I really like to make sure my energy is bright, but I promise I'm showing up. 2023, I'm not playing no more games. I'm playing content out at least four to five times a week. I'm not playing no more. Like, seriously. I don't give a fuck how fucked up my week is. I'm going to make some time to show up. If, and the problem is, the only reason why my energy is never right enough to really do my readings when I'm going through bedtime because I'm not prioritizing meditating. So, I'm getting my shit together. Getting my shit together. And that's why I'm actually able to come on here and give advice. Because I'm actually working on myself as well. I don't have all the answers. Now, I do channel answers and, and messages from other people, but I'm also a student myself. In this spiritual journey and i've just been for some reason or another given the calling to have to get these messages across to people but all right for my group number three ooh, i love this card it says shaman trust in higher forces just told y'all that too i was just saying something about synchronicity something told me i haven't said that to, to the first two groups Something made me want to say that to y'all. And I got the synchronicity 2727 as well. First of all, let me write that down. I don't forget it. 2727 um, in my group number two reading. But something that told me I was supposed to say this to you guys specifically. So there's going to be a reason why. But it says trust in higher forces. I don't know how well y'all can see that or not. But shaman, trust in higher forces. Okay, what else for group number three? I just have a really good feeling about this reading. I feel like I'm about to be speaking to my soul trap. Excited. Arrow. I get this card often. Surround yourself with protective energy. This is my form. Okay. Get some crystals. Some crystals, some evil eyes, some sage, some palo santos. That's what I'm hearing. Before I even get into the textbook definition. Y'all is like, and, and then nobody else's cards flew out th like this. They're really, mm, like when you play in spades or taunt, like that. Like just, you know what I'm saying? Very sure cards. Medicine mother, honor your inner knowing. I'm excited for this reading, y'all. I ain't gonna hold you. So let's get right into it. Shaman, trust in higher forces.
Trust in higher forces. Trust in your angels, gods, and ancestors. If you have given your power away, claim it back. On the inner planes, all of the shamans of times gone by are helping the human race to understand the complexities of life and the need of Mother Earth. Many are working as spiritual guides to light workers and light warriors. Then I say, I feel like I'm about to be talking to my soul tribe. Um, the shaman card brings the energy of your shaman guides to you. Shamans believed when they when there was an illness or disease, it was because a person's excuse me, because a person's power had been left behind somewhere or a negative pattern had installed itself in them. In trance, they would travel to the underworld to recall this power and remove the demon. If this card comes to you, it's because you need to do some release work with lower energies or with your lack of trust in the spiritual energies that are guiding you. The shaman will aid you in your quest. So yes, the spiritual energies that are guiding you. This takes me back. I know there was not a reason that I was feeling that I need to speak on synchronicities for no reason. I think that I'm speaking to a group of people that are not trusting in their spirit guides and not trusting into the connection that they have with the spiritual realm. Understanding that you have spirit guides and guardian angels that are with you, you are never alone. Ever. I don't care in your loneliest of hours, you are never alone. They are guiding you. And those are probably the times that they're actually sending you messages and you're not catching them. So for that comfort, I promise you it'll bring you so much more of a great comfort. And it's way deeper than just a time on a, a time on a clock. Sometimes I'm on a, it can be a synchronicity, it can be 414, 444. Sometimes I'm just on Instagram, which I try to not spend too much time on. And I'll see like 1,000 and, um, I'm trying to get a number, like 1,011 or, um, 1,111 1, views or 1,111 likes and be like random much. But no, for me, I don't take it as random or coincidence Coincidence or 800, uh, 888 likes. Like I don't take that as coincidence. I take that as, oh shit, spirit wanted me to see this number at this time for a specific reason. And there's a message behind this number. And more times than not, when you look it up, you'd be like, shit, that resonates. That really resonates with me. So um, pay more attention to synchronicities because it'll really bring you a sense of comfort. Um, but anyway, the shaman will aid you in your quest. It says, excuse me, if this card comes to you, it is because you need to do some release work with lower energies or with your lack of trust in the spiritual energies that are guiding you. The shaman will aid you in your quest. Extended message. There are spiritual allies working in your favor and their miracles will unfold much more easily when you move into a state of trust. Understand that you are not alone and you do have forces that are working in your favor. We all, every last one of us have, have, have guardian angels that have been with us in this lifetime, the, the past lifetime, and several lifetimes to come. That's what they want you to, but they want you to understand that, the, that, that you have that. You have that for yourself and we all do. But anyway, it says, um, there are spiritual allies working in your favor and their miracles will unfold much more easily when you move into a state of trust. So call back your power and stop allowing external forces to, di to divert you from the miracles you deserve. So I feel like you're surrounding yourself with people that, you're surrounding yourself like with energy that's just not, not pot. Like you ever had like a group of friends, like don't nobody got shit going on for real. Like everything is just every shit. When, when people got stuff to talk about, it's like, bullshit ass instagram stuff social and i can't even really use example for conversation because i really don't surround myself with people that don't have intellectual intelligent shit to talk about or something that i can learn and grow and expand from but i feel like i'm feeling like you're in a, 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 a um you're around people that are not progressive to where you want to actually go in your life and if that's the case, you have to do some reevaluating on your inner circle. That's just what it is. Like, you know, energy doesn't die, just transfer. So when you're in a, in, in a, when you keep yourself in an energy field of people that don't got shit going on, ain't got shit to talk about, ain't got, ain't trying to progress, they cool, working they nine to five, they don't really see that there's a, a greater purpose in their life than just showing up and going to work. Or even if they not, may, may, might not be going to work at all, whatever it may be, spirit wants you to expand expand your horizons with people experiences and things of that nature and not just keep yourself in this complacent type of energy
sometimes you have to step out of your comfort zone for better results or honestly what did they say the comfort zoners were dreams go and die go to die and that makes so much fucking sense it really does but anyway um so anyway, it says there, I'm going to read it again. The spiritual allies working in your favor and their miracles will unfold much more easily when you move into a state of trust. So call back your power and stop allowing external forces to divert you from the miracles you deserve. Hand over all of your concerns to your spiritual allies, being your spirit guides, your angels, your guardian angels, your ancestors. And there's nothing wrong with asking your spirit guard, your, your spirit guide. And, and honestly, this is going to come with you moving into a state of trust of understanding that there are spiritual forces at play in your life um ask them to intervene spirit gods angels ancestors what next step should i take what next step do i need to be taking right now i'm asking you to intervene you can ask them that you can have a regular conversation with them like you would have one with me or the next motherfucker i'm asking you to intervene Please show me what my next step is. Please show me what my next, how can I get myself out of this situation? Please give me, please give me my next steps. I'm asking you to intervene. You can do that. Okay. But anyway, and that's probably when I'll start sending you synchronicities and all types of shit like that. But just pay attention and be open to that. But anyway, it says hand over all of your concerns to your spiritual allies. When you do so, you allow them to send you intuitive guidance and messages that will allow you to correct the situation and come out on top. The shaman card also shows that you have shamanic potential to move between the realms and connect with your guides in an extremely personal way. So you don't even, this is why I'm so happy when I seen this card and I said, I think I'm about to be speaking to my soul track because when you have shamanic potential or you have shaman, what it says, what is it, what the, how did they word it? Yeah, shamanic potential to move between realms. That means that you are very connected to spirit rather Rather you you know that or not, rather you know that and you kind of sleeping on it, you really really have that within you. That gives you a that gives you a step up over a lot of people. So please understand, use that use that power that gift and harness that and really use it to to better your life because you can. 